you didn't realise, as Stephen's case has highlighted now, that it can happen at any age. And it happened to me probably, I was developing in my late 20s. I've heard of people 30s, 40s, 50s, mm. who haven't realised that to put two and two together about the symptoms. And the thing is, if it's in the family, it does increase the risk quite significantly that it can happen to, to younger people as well. And this is the, one of the key messages I want to get across, that regardless of what you could be offered in way of tests, if you're in the slightest bit worried about anything, mm. then by all means go to the websites that are there from the charities, go to your GP, talk things through, and hopefully you can get in the system and if it's diagnosed early, there's an excellent chance that you'll survive. Yeah, because that was the thing, it was, it was too late for your boy, wasn't it? It was, yeah. too, it was too late for him. But he was so incredibly young, and I think you're absolutely right. I mean, you're that age, you kind of think you're invincible as well, don't you? You don't think anything like that's going to happen to you. But it's about awareness, and that, again, is a fantastic legacy from your son, that people will be thinking about that. They, won't, they will, won't they? they? They'll be thinking about symptoms yeah. and instead of just thinking oh you know maybe my tummy's a bit dicky or I'm not quite sure what this yeah. is all about that will actually be at the forefront well, of their I'd mind. Well I'd like to think that it's something good that can come sometimes something bad. Of course. If people look at Steve and I think God, if it can happen to somebody that mm. age 